This is Bessie Ellen, a 32 metre traditional West Country trading ketch, built in Plymouth in 1904. She spent her early years sailing the coasts of southwest England and Ireland, transporting cargoes of clay, peat, and salt, among other things, before having a 30 year stint as a working cargo boat in Denmark. Abandoned in a shipyard for decades, Bessie was rescued, restored, and refitted as a charter boat at the turn of the 21st century by Nikki Alford, who skippers Bessie Ellen to this day. She spends the summer season sailing Scotland's Hebrides, the Cornish coast and the Scilly Isles, along with destinations further afield. Over winter, she resides in Gloucester. Bessie Ellen is one of Britain's last wooden coasting catches under sail. She retains some of her original features, including her oak hull and deck made of pitch pine, but has been refitted in a traditional style to offer a comfortable sailing experience for up to 12 guests and six crew. Oh, and let's not forget Chief Dolphin Sniffer and resident salty sea dog, Bracken. Now that you've learned a bit about Bessie's history, let's show you around. Bessie is boarded via a rope and wooden ladder thrown over the side. At the aft deck is her large wood and brass helm, an antique fixed brass compass encased in glass, and the captain's cabin, accessed via a sliding wooden hatch and wooden staircase. The large aft cabin, used by owner and skipper Nicky and pup Bracken, can sleep too and features a desk, daybed and storage space. The varnished wooden roof of the cabin, constructed from pine, doubles up as a serving table for lunch, coffee and cake in good weather, as a spacious area to gather around charts or simply as a seating area on which to relax with a view. Hinged hatches open up to reveal a section of the engine room below, situated adjacent to the aft cabin. Forward of the aft cabin is the chart room and stairwell to the lower deck. The chart room on the port or left side of the boat features a standing height desk with a modern navigation system, storage for charts, radios and other seafaring miscellanea. With the door open, crew can communicate easily between the nav station and the helm. The midship area of the upper deck is dominated by the coach roof of the saloon. In good weather, a section of the roof is uncovered, allowing natural light to flood the space below. This is largely a functional area used for storing three life rafts, sail bags, and occasionally any overflow of fresh fruit and veg. It's also a good spot for relaxing with a book or taking a nap. The ropes around the mainsail above double up as a good spot for drying swimming gear after a dip in the sea. On the foredeck, a sliding wooden hatch reveals a ladder to the forecastle or crew quarters below. Either side of the hatch are storage benches, stocked with fresh produce and assorted equipment. At the bow of the boat is a windlass, used for lowering and raising the anchor. Protruding nine metres beyond the windlass is the bowsprit, with ratlins, or fixed rope ladder, enabling crew or adventurous guests to climb out and attend to the four jib sails. Bessie Ellen has two masts and eight sails, produced in Brightling Sea by specialist sailmaker James Lawrence. The main mast is 40 metres tall and constructed of Douglas fir pine. The mizzen mast, made from the same wood, is 24 metres tall. The four sails rigged at the bow are the flying jib, outer jib, inner jib and staysail. Then there's the mainsail and topsail, with the mizzen and mizzen topsail at the stern. A complex system of ropes used to hoist and manipulate the sails are rigged to the masts, bowsprit and port and starboard bulwarks. Ratlins ascend the main and mizzen masts, enabling crew to access hard to reach sections of rope and sail and offering guests with a head for heights the chance to enjoy a bird's eye view. A white and red Bessie Ellen flag flies from the top of the main mast along with a red ensign home flag on the mizzen and a couple more wind indicator and courtesy flags. The main access to the lower deck is the stairs to the right of the chart room, with a secondary access ladder on the foredeck. Below deck is the engine room, galley or kitchen, a guest head or bathroom, the saloon lined with 12 guest bunks, a bosun store, a second crew head and six crew bunks. The narrow staircase features beautiful brass details. A fridge tucks in neatly under the stairs with the heavy engine room door to the left. The engine room houses a 310 horsepower Volvo Penta engine, the electric system and a small workshop station with tools. Straight ahead of the bottom stairs is the small but very functional galley. Skipper Nicky whips up the most incredible meals from here, served on deck or in the saloon. Oh, 
To the right of the stairs is the wet room style guest head, with heated tiled floors, an electric flushing toilet, sink and shower with hot and cold water. Adjacent to the head is the former cargo hold, transformed into a cosy saloon for eating, socialising and sleeping. There are six guest bunks either side, each with privacy curtains and a light. Bessie's original hull, visible throughout the lower deck area, adds so much character to this space. Cushioned benches with built-in storage for guest luggage run along the port and starboard sides of the saloon, along with large wooden tables that are perfect for gathering around. Movable benches provide additional seating and storage. The plaques adorning the bulkhead beam are a nod to Bessie Ellen's name when she sailed under the Danish flag and the Danish port where Nikki found her in the 90s. There's a small library and various framed photographs and paintings dotted around the saloon, all adding to the cosy ambience of this space. Forward of the saloon is the Bosun store, a large chest freezer and washing machine. Next to this is a small head used primarily by the crew. It has a heated tiled floor, shower, mechanical toilet and a sink. Its sliding door saves space as you move between the crew head and the crew bunks area. The forecastle has an upper berth on the starboard side, three bunk berths on the port side and two bunk berths positioned port to starboard each with a privacy curtain and light. Storage benches run along the bottom of the berths and a ladder ascends through a wooden hatch to the foredeck above. We hope you enjoyed this tour of Bessie Ellen and if you'd like to climb aboard and join her on a sailing holiday, you'll find her schedule on the Bessie Ellen and Venture Sail websites linked below. <laughs>